I just always wanted to make a movie, you know. Um, and what better time now? Um, we we were still here, so relevant. It's 35 years in the game, and the the I I wear makeup every day. <laughs> I you know whether I do whether I'm taking it down or I'm you know I'm doing it up. Um, I feel like there's a way to apply makeup and still be flawless. And it doesn't have to be heavy. It could be light. And this collaboration with Milani represents who we are as women. It, as Salt would say, it make, you know, it's timeless makeup as we make timeless music. And just to stand by a, a product and the pigment and the colors and and Not have fun as a girl. Yeah, I guess girls real. just like to have fun, right? With yes. fashion and makeup and stuff. And so for us, it's like she said, we've been around so long. <laughs> Having this iconic brand with this Milani, another iconic brand coming together, it's like, it makes sense. It makes Somebody sense. Um, in one of the comments said, Dag, you gave us something we didn't know we needed. <laughs> I'm like, that's really, really that's says it, it right? Yes. Like, we didn't even know we needed this. I just love the whole packaging. Mm. I mean, you know how times change. It started, you have your album, then you go into your CDs, and now it's like you're streaming. But here we gave you something to remember. Uh, to remember. From uh, the 90s. The 90s. CDs. CDs. The palette is a CD. It's and, a keepsake. I know. And, and we, you know, they got some autographs, so, you know, or, you know, the each of us autographed yeah. The, yeah. Uh, our, the, the, the palette and everything. Mm -hmm. And it's just a reminder, keepsake, like Salt would say, and just I love I I love the whole package. It, it represented our songs, our albums, our platinum, which our is personality, our personality. You have daytime, you have nighttime. There's a salt and a pepper in every friendship. The yin and the yang. Mm -hmm. So there's one palette that is more softer matte colors, mm -hmm. and then there's another palette that's like honey. You let's go turn it out. up for the night. Yeah, yeah. let's go. <laughs> the color to it, the golds, the reds. Yeah, um, the way you're dressed today, you know, you are your 90s colors, like it's very signature, yeah. It's very it signature of the 90s, like cross colors and the eight ball jackets, the famous push it jacket is just a mixture of all of that fun, good time. And, and you know, the time and no one can get away from it. It's like the colors are all back, the time and the style is all back of fashion. Everything, even like from when we did the asymmetrical, and I still got it down, bringing it back. But you know, even like the Rihanna's wear that and everything, but the colors, to, you know, the whole stuff from the 90s to the 2000s, it's like, it's just great, the timing, and everyone loves the 90s. We were hands-on. We were just like our movie with executive producers, just like with our cosmetic line, we were we were hands-on. It was, it was very important for it to reflect both of us, you know, as it does, you know, the colors, the, the, the you know, the lips, the lip liners, and just the, everything in a whole package, it had to spend And the quality. The, sure. Yeah, Milani's been around a long time. Pep's mom. 92. Been, yeah, she's 92, 92 years she's old. Right. And she's been wearing Milani forever. makeup for, forever. And she's forever. like, I remember when I was a kid seeing the Milani logo. And, and I showed and Milani full circle. how she, um, like, literally finished all her compact, her foundation and everything. I sent it to them, I'm like, look, my mom is really, like, she wears this stuff still. And they sent like this amazing care package to her. And you know, it was beautiful because it was Aww. like, they, it really, they did. We're all, her, her color, <laughs> like she's like, I ran out. And um, I just loved the whole line in a whole. I know we have our yeah. certain palette and our certain lipstick in the line, but in terms of a whole and the texture and the concealers and the foundations and the, you know, the blush and how it lasts, the pigment to it, it's no cheapy cheapy. It's like, yeah, we can wear it. Animal free testing, um, all the above, you know, it's just be, it's just a beautiful, uh, feeling to stand by a product. It's not just being an artist and someone come to you and say, like, okay, I just want to license you and you want to do this line. You know, it was a product to stand by, to wear, to, to, yeah. to you know. It, it makes sense because Salt and Pepper brought fun fashion and femininity to hip hop. Yes. And girls like clean. Mm -hmm. girls so. girls like <laughs> I love that. So uh, we have a game. Uh, we want to break down some of your, some of our favorite Salt and Pepper songs um, in something that we call <laughs> Academy of a Song. Um, so you just have to tell me, like, what what do you remember about making the song? Um, we're gonna start off with Push It. <laughs> so what do you remember about recording it? Mm -hmm. I remember, okay. We recorded it in the bathroom. Right, that's um, what we remember. <laughs> yeah, of this guy named Fresh Gordon's 
home and it was actually the B side of Tramp. It was just like, we gotta hurry up and make a B side. It wasn't <laughs> even supposed to be a hit. And then a DJ turned Tramp over and started playing it and then all of a sudden it was, and it's the biggest salt and pepper song ever. But the funniest part of that story is that we didn't like the song. Like right. Herbie was saying, you know, like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. And we were like, uh -huh. Like we, we don't get it. We didn't have a hard time at that time <laughs> because they were calling out pop sellouts and everything. Right. We were so popular was overseas. We were, you know, it wasn't I'll take your man. Right. You know what I mean, it wasn't my mic sound nice. It was like, uh, we gonna know. be in trouble now. <laughs> but look at us now with it, right? Right. I love that. Um, what about? Oh, and then the music video. Like, what? What do you remember about making the music video for that? I remember that music video was. Um, it was great because it was a. It was a live video. Um, it was like just being live. There was no takes. It was like what you know, the live concert, and um, we worked so hard. I mean, dancing. We was pushing. It. We were pushing it on that video. I, I just, just spontaneously crawled through Sandy's I, I, legs. Yes. I don't know what that was about to this day. I was like, we gonna make this video, and we did it. <laughs> that that crawl through, excuse me, was the best. <laughs> she was like, okay, okay, that's what we doing. <laughs> What do you remember about recording that song in the video? The boys on the beach. <laughs> the boys on the beach. Yes. Yeah. That's our favorite thing to do, audition boys. I was about to say, because like, I remember seriously. we did that. And that's what was our favorite part. We literally auditioned these boys for the video. And Salt and I was sitting there like, ooh, okay, you're in. I was touching them. Mm. Like, you can't touch I said, you can't them. touch them. <laughs> you can't. Poor, one of them, I remember a couple of them came with no act, no nothing. But he, you know, he thought he could. You know, he had a beach body. But it was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> But it, it was yeah, a fun that song. Video, making that video was, was really, really like you, it looked like we were having fun. We were actually having a and, lot of fun. And, and one more thing to the song. It was one of those songs um, that you know we came up with, and it was a it was written in in our my apartment uh, in Queens, New York. Like some old you know homegirl stuff. Like come on over, we got this dope song, and we wrote our lyrics up and. Um, we were like meat and potatoes before that. We was kind of chunky chunky. So when that song came out and we did the videos, we um lost a lot of weight. Um <laughs> and now I'm meatballs and potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, what's my weakness? Pizza. <laughs> I love it. Um, and then what do you remember about uh What a Man, the song in the video? <sighs> the what collaboration a... with Invo was was priceless. Matthew Ralston uh, did the video, um, and that was a big deal for us because he was very well known, mm -hmm. you know, for doing amazing videos and photography and getting together for that powerful collaboration. I remember it just being really, really like a, a thing in the air where you just knew that this was a moment, you know, that was gonna last forever. Wait, Tupac in the bed with me <laughs> was the highlight of. That's how good. all of the what a man scenario. It was just like, oh my god! I was so nervous. I was like, because yeah. I did have a crush on him. So it was really, it was really fun. <laughs> it was. And then my boyfriend at the time was kind of watching. I was like, get out. I think mean, he had to leave. He did. I told him to leave. He did. It like, was, bro, he did. I'm he trying did. to. You want to ask me the first one? Um, uh, oh, I know what you're going to say with this, so I'll ask. What is your biggest fashion trend trend regret? My biggest fashion trend regret? I don't know. What you thought I was going to say? Polka dots. Oh, I will polka dots. Yeah, 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 you always felt like polka dots. Yeah, so it was a little overdone yeah. at that time. Yeah. yeah. What, about, what about you? You don't have no regrets. Forget it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you remember your first impression of me? I know you thought I was really beautiful, but beside that, what else? <laughs> My first impression of her was, who this girl not looking at me? <laughs> no. That's real talk, bro. Because we were in the Holy lunchroom. Look. Cow, who this girl in the corner have the nerve? <laughs> Don't you see I'm here? Sure, I kept see, you know, in the lunchroom day in and day out of school, I always see her, but she was like, mm. but I was telling like, the truth. That is the truth. <laughs> the nerve of her not to look at me. <laughs> um, you just said it, but 
Do you have a celebrity crush and have you ever met them? But you could... Yeah, Tupac was my all time celebrity crush. We we were friends, but you know, I knew that uh couldn't cross that line. God bless him. He mentioned my daughter in the beginning of Keep Your Head Up. He did a shout out to Corinne. Um, and I just think he was such a dynamic person. Like all eyes on me, that was a real thing with Tupac. You walked into the room, it was you just Grabbed everyone's attention. He did. God bless him. I met all my crush. <laughs> <laughs> you met them all? I've. Mm, mm. <laughs>